Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Well, today we're going to take a look at how do you get a stuck CD out of your eMac. Now, I know there's a lot of you out there that still have these old vintage Macs and you're still using them. And I picked up an eMac and an old iMac that I'm actually still working on right now. Um, but this is my eMac and yesterday I upgraded the hard drive in it uh, to 120 gig. The stock drive was only 40 gig, which by the time you get your OS in there and Chrome Egg Rally, there goes half your hard drive. Like seriously, we need more space. But anyway, so I had a 120 gig, which should be more than adequate. Um, and I've been going through my CD collection to find my uh, Lion installer. And I still can't seem to find it. I don't know what happened to it. But anyways, it'll show up eventually, I'm sure, in this disaster. But, today I want to show you how to get a stuck CD out, because like many of you, I like to experiment and probably do some stuff I shouldn't do. So I have a Power Mac G4 OS 10.2.3 CD that I got stuck in this, because I wanted to try putting 10.2.3 on. It's a restore CD, it's original, maybe, but problem is, is this thing's minimum OS is actually... Uh, one stage higher. 10.2.3 is actually too low for this. Although it did say I could restart the computer with it, it crashes out on you when it happens. So it got my CD stuck because normally you would just hold down your mouse button. Well, that's fine if you have a real Apple mouse, you can hold down that button because it's only a single button anyways. I'm using a gamer mouse with three buttons on it and yeah, it doesn't seem to want to eject the CD when you do that. Um, and you will come across this with the odd mouse. Some mice will actually do it. Uh, this one doesn't. So I thought, how am I going to get this thing out of here? Because it keeps rebooting the computer, trying to boot from the CD. It will not go past, right? So I thought, well, I got an idea. Let's show you what happened here and how I fixed my problem. So we're going to zoom right in on the CD drawer here. And uh, you're going to need a jeweler screwdriver. Now, there is no access to like an emergency little single hole kind of thing, um, regardless if it's there or not. Um, you're not going to be able to get access to it because, yeah, it's uh, mm, not in the right spot if it is even here. And, um, yeah, it does have one, but we can't get at it. There's no tool to get at it. But, the button is here. So what you need to do is get your screwdriver out and you need to click and hold on that button while you're booting the computer, okay? So if I turn off my computer so that you can see exactly how we do this, I'm gonna shut down the computer. By the way, these Emacs are awesome. I never owned an Emac before. Uh, never even worked on one before in my life until uh, actually yesterday, so it was kind of fun. So we turn on the computer, and we gotta hold down that button at the same time and it'll open for us. Okay, now you may have to hold longer because there's nothing in here. Um, you may have to hold down longer like I did and then it'll eject and then the original OS that's on your hard drive will actually start to boot and then you're okay. That is how you do it, but it's just this small screwdriver. It's a flat blade so you put it on the flat side, you pop it in there and just hit the button on the side and it'll come out. But you have to do that before it tries to boot. So this is why you hold it first with it in and then turn the power on at the same time and keep holding. The system will cycle and it'll eject your CD. So that's pretty simplified. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of this video. If you liked it, if it helped you, that sort of thing. Uh, when we get the iMac up and running, We'll see if we can pull off a similar trick, although it is a slot load. So uh, we'll see how we can work out that one for a jammed in CD. Um, there are other ways to get uh, CDs out of slot load DVDs on Apple uh, computers, so which would actually work on PCs as well, I'm sure, that have a slot load DVD player or CD uh, drive in it. Anyways, that's all we got for you for today. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.